Hello everyone and welcome inside to another episode of 49er Insider. We're going to kick things off with the 49ers softball team and what a week it was for them. They went 3-0 in conference, their first conference sweep since May 1st of last season against Middle Tennessee. Their overall record was 3-2 after dropping a doubleheader at Western Carolina, but let's stick with this North Texas series. Haley Pace was moved into the leadoff spot to provide an offensive spark and that's just what happened. She batted 412 for the week and added three home runs. And then Emma Oker hit her first home run of her collegiate career in that first game of the series to win 10 to nothing. And then the final game of the series, Grace Beatty went three for four, including a three run homer, which proved to be the difference maker. The baseball team played their last uptown game of the season against NC State on Tuesday and fell just short 15 to 10, but did battle back after going down 14 nothing early in that one, and then traveled up to Virginia to face ODU, but only took one of the three game series. TJ Nickting now leads Conference USA in batting average with a 388, and then Mims is third with 381. And then we talk about him every week. Colton Laws continues to be dominant, goes seven innings in the first game of the doubleheader on Saturday, and only gives up one run. Now we're going to head outside to hot and humid Florida where the men and women's track and field team participated in the Florida Relays. Kimani Dula participated in the 400 meter dash as well as the 4x4. In the 400 meter he ran a time of 47.14 which is good enough to rank third in Conference USA as well as good enough to qualify for the USA Track and Field Junior National Championships. Dula also participated in the 4x4 with three other Charlotte teammates and their time of 3 minutes 8 seconds, 58 milliseconds, ranked second in Conference USA and broke the Charlotte program record. Moving to the field side of events of the Florida Relays, sophomore Stefan Veselinovic, the Serbian, participated in the men's hammer throw and threw for 68.22 meters. That throw ranks him first in Conference USA, but that's not it. That now breaks his Charlotte school record and now he owns the Serbian national record for the hammer throw. And all the records he just broke is good enough to make him our player of the week. So congratulations, Stevan. Sticking with track, but heading out to the William & Mary Colonial Relays, Caroline Sang, we talked about her last week, but this time in the 3,000 meter race for the time of 9.31.36. That was first at that relay. Her time is also now first in Conference USA and broke the Charlotte school record for the 3,000 meter race. So a lot of records broken for the men's and women's track and field team this past weekend. No Niner history this week, so we're going to jump right into the top plays and we'll pick it up at number three. Aaron Powers makes a diving play in the outfield. Sorry the ump got in the way in that shot. Probably the perfect spot for him to be in. But Aaron Powers saves multiple runs from crossing the plate. And the Niners go on to win game three of that series, eight to six. Number two, we'll head to Uptown where TJ Nickteen makes a diving catch and his elbow sticks right into his stomach and gets the wind knocked out of him. But hey, he's okay, he makes a spectacular play, gets on our top play. And number one, Reese Hampton still at Uptown, makes a diving play, takes lift off. An incredible catch from Reese, but he's used to doing that, that kind of stuff this season. So congrats to Reese for our top play of the week. So those top plays all had a, a similar theme of diving plays, but all great catches by our student athletes. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in and go Niners.